Hi guys! Welcome to part two of my London vlog. If you tuned in last time, you would have seen us arriving in London on the Wednesday, going for an explore of the shops on Oxford Street, and then spending the Thursday visiting the Shakespeare Globe Theatre, Covent Garden, and going for a lovely dinner and some incredible ice cream with our friend Jill. So in part two, I'm going to show you what we got up to on the Friday and Saturday, and I really hope that you enjoy it. So on the Friday morning, we got up bright and early and had some breakfast in the hotel, before we headed out to get the underground to South Kensington. Our plan for that morning was to go to the V&A because there was an exhibition on called Undressed, which was an underwear exhibition, sort of talking you through the history of underwear and lingerie and it was very interesting and Roisin had read about it before we went down to London and was really keen to see it. So that was our plan for the Friday morning. The V&A is such a beautiful building, everywhere you look there's just such gorgeous things to see. You could spend a really good amount of time in there. If you weren't going to see one specific exhibition, you could just have a wander. It's such a beautiful place to walk around in. But we really enjoyed the exhibition. It, I don't know how long it runs for, but if it's still running, I'll put something across here and let you know if it's still running. I would definitely say to check it out. If you are interested in fashion, obviously, um, I think it's something that you would enjoy. morning. I don't think I've actually spoken to the vlog so far today. I don't remember speaking to the vlog so far today anyway. Um, but we are at the B&A. We've just been at a lovely exhibition called Undressed. So it was all about the sort of history of underwear. It was very interesting. So we're now in the courtyard. I've done a quick pan of the buildings that you would have seen a minute ago and everything's really beautiful. Um, but it's another really nice day and we are just done having our walk around the museum I think and we're going to head off. Oh it's quite noisy out here. Um, but we're going to head off and make our way to Harrods I think but probably en route. What are we going to do en route guys? Let's be honest. We potentially have cake for lunch for the hard day Because yeah. that, my friends, is what you do when you're on holiday. After we finished at the V&A we headed along towards Harrods. It's about a 10 minute walk if I remember correctly between the V&A and Harrods and Harrods is such an iconic shop. I kind of feel like if you're in the centre of London you can't not go into Harrods even just for a walk around. Um, and so that is what we did. We once again went in and headed straight for the makeup counters. Of course, where else were we going to go? And had a swatch at some lovely makeup. After that, it was time for lunch, and we didn't have an exact plan for lunch that day. Again, we thought probably cupcakes, but we thought that rather than make a firm plan, we would just have a bit of a wander and see where the roads took us. It was such a beautiful sunny day as well that walking around the streets of London really was no hardship. After we'd walked for a while though, we got it in our heads that we wanted to go to Hummingbird Bakery. It had been somewhere that we thought about but we hadn't made sort of concrete plans to go directly to, so we did a bit of googling, found out how to get there. So it took us probably about 20 minutes from where we were on Sloan Street to walk along to Hummingbird Bakery on Old Rotten Road, but it was worth the walk. That day I went for a vanilla cupcake, in fact I think all three of us went for a vanilla cupcake that day and they were fantastic. It was such a cute place to sit in and after all the walking we were definitely ready for our cupcakes that day. What a ridiculous thing to say. Hi guys! Okay. So I don't know when the last time that I actually spoke to you was, it was a while ago. In fact, I think that it was probably while we were still in the B&A and we were going to go for lunch. Um, that took longer than expected. We went to Harrods first and then had a bit of a walk. And we've just had lunch, third day in a row of cake for lunch in the Hummingbird Bakery. Guys, what were your thoughts? I was lovely. Rated against yesterday's cupcake lunch? They were quite, I feel like they were quite different and I know that probably sounds like a ridiculous thing to say but they were, the texture was quite different. Uh, it, so that was lighter. Yeah, it was. Definitely. I did feel that maybe yesterday's had a better icing. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. too much icing. Little, mm -hmm. Compared to the... 
but that would be like I would if we're being picky really picky. for being like really picky yeah. overall you tried the lowest cupcake i had the lowest cupcake drink so did i the lowest mm -hmm. cupcake was very nice as well okay if you had Where to pick would... one oh one well, out of the three anyone should be put in I that would position no. probably go with yesterday's at the primrose bakery yeah. There you go. Yeah, I would recommend the Lowe's Cupcake Milkshake. Oh, yeah. the Lowe's, like, they were all lovely. They were. one that I would recommend. Overall, our cupcake experience thus far has been great. We're now going to go into this little pharmacy, I think. And then I think we are actually going to go for a wander and actually go for the cinema. So I'm quite excited about that. And I'll fill you in on what we get up to in a while. That evening, we have planned to go to the cinema to see Finding Dory, which we're very excited about. And the cinema that we were going to was in the Whiteley's shopping centre. So to get to that, we decided to walk through Kensington Gardens, which on a sunny day was just beautiful. One of the main attractions for us for walking through there was to go and see the Peter Pan statue. That was something that Rosine had mentioned earlier in the trip and we thought it would be really, really nice to go and see it. After we finished our walk in Kensington Gardens, we made our way along to the Whiteley Shopping Centre. Again, it was probably about a 15 minute walk along towards the shopping centre from Kensington Gardens. So we got there, we popped into the cinema and bought our tickets and then headed to the Pizza Express next door to have dinner before the film. The film was great. If you haven't seen Finding Dory yet, I would thoroughly recommend it, by the way. The inspiration struck to go and see it when we'd been in the Disney store the day before and seen all the merchandise and we were like, we should definitely go and see it and so we did it was great it was a perfect way to end that day and after our pizza and our film we jumped back on the underground and headed back to our hotel for another very well earned sleep saturday morning arrived as if from nowhere the trip had gone very very quickly so we got all packed up in the morning and headed downstairs to reception where there you have a life luggage room which is great it's always very helpful when you're not heading home until later in the day to have somewhere to leave your luggage so another thumbs up for the Royal National Hotel for that. After breakfast we headed out and made our way along to Oxford Street again walking back through some lovely streets on a gloriously sunny day. We had discovered through the wonders of Instagram that there was a Cinderella carriage downstairs in the Disney store which we had somehow managed to completely miss when we were in before. So we decided to head back there to go downstairs, have a look at that and get some pictures taken. What does it kind of mean? After that we headed back along Oxford Street and through another couple of shops 
and made our way back to Self to Do's because Roisin and I had made the decision the night before that we really wanted to get a massage. Now, walking around London, doing as much walking as we were doing, especially if you're carrying a heavy bag with you, your shoulder starts to get just a bit sore. My shoulder and my back had been very angry at me for the past two days because I carry so much rubbish about in my bag with me and my shoulder was absolutely killing me. So we had seen some of these walk-in back rub places. There was one in Covent Garden, which was an actual shop, and then we had got a stand in Selfridges downstairs and we decided the night before that it was worth going to explore. So we got back to Selfridges, we had another wander around some of the bits that we had missed on the first day. How we'd missed any of it when we spent about three hours in there, I don't know, but there's still more to see. So we went and had a look at that and then made a beeline once again for Lola's Cupcakes for our last treats of the trip. I have had a lot of cupcakes this trip, but I am not complaining. These two are passion fruit and apple crumble. And they're just little tiny baby ones, therefore they have no calories. Roisin's got... I have finofi and salted caramel and a swatched hand. A very swatched hand. Right, on your last clip that I was in, mm -hmm. it may have ended oh, yeah. you manically excited. It did. Oh, yeah. Just in case, let's like, keep that in. And I feel like specifically now I will. Look! It's Elliot the dragon. He is so adorable. Turn him to the side so we can see his wings. Look at him! He is so beautiful and I love him so much. He is so and look lovely. Look at his little kitty that I gave him. Roisin loves him very, very much. I'm so, so happy. See, and Lauren has... I have just a plain old vanilla cupcake. But it's green and it's, it's got lovely little like... And I had red velvet when we were here the other day, so I thought I'd... Test out the vanilla. And now you can weigh up that vanilla against the other vanillas. On this occasion, I had two mini cupcakes. I had an apple crumble one, which was delicious. And I had a passion fruit one, which was the best cupcake that I had the whole trip possibly in my whole life. Grand statement, I realise, but if you like the taste of passion fruit and you like cakes, this is the cake for you. It was amazing. Then we went for our back rubs, which were completely worth it, I have to say. By that time, it was coming up for time for us to head back to the hotel to get our luggage, which was really sad. Our train was at half past five, so by this point it was about two o'clock, I think. So it was time for us to leave and make our way back along to the hotel because we had a couple more stops to make before we headed for Euston. On our way back, we stopped into another couple of lovely shops. We stopped into Oliver Bonus and into Paper Chase. Of course, you can't walk past the paper chase without going in and having a look at the lovely stationery. Everything was so pretty and it was definitely worth stopping in there. Even though I didn't buy anything, paper chase is always good for a browse. We are um, making our way back to the hotel to pick up our cases and then we're going to go to King's Cross. We're going to go to the platform nine and three quarters shop situation and then we are going to be getting the train home. So we're actually getting the train home from Euston, so we're having a little detour. Um, but yeah, it's about, I think, 20 past three or something like that at this point. And our train's at half past five. And we've had a lovely day since the last time I spoke to you. Roisin and I both got a massage. I've got to tell you, it was wonderful. How was yours? It was. And we've had such a lovely time and we've been so lucky with the weather. What has it been, what have you been saying this I've whole time? I've been saying for the past three, four days that I feel like I've been abroad. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. feel like I'm still in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> We got back to the hotel, grabbed our suitcases and made our way along to King's Cross Station where we were going to the platform 9 and 3 quarters shop. Lots of Harry Potter inspiration on this trip. I've never actually been into King's Cross to see the platform nine and three quarters sign, so even seeing that was quite exciting, but the queue to get pictures taken at it was insane. We just walked past the queue though and headed straight for the shop. This shop was very overwhelming. It was so lovely to be in it and see all the lovely Harry Potter merchandise. It was great. 
I will say though that it was quite a stressful experience. You could barely move, it was so packed and I suspect it'll probably be like that quite a lot, especially at the moment with the play obviously being on in London just now. After that we headed back to Euston Station to get our train and that really was signalling the fact that the trip was over. Our train got back into Glasgow Central at about 10 o'clock at night and we were shattered but having had the most amazing trip. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope that you have enjoyed this vlog. I certainly enjoyed filming it and putting it all together. I really now enjoy this style of vlog actually. I stumbled across it by accident when I messed up my New York vlogs first time around and now I actually really like this format. So let me know, either give this video a thumbs up or let me know in the comments down below if you like this format. Thanks so much again for watching guys. I hope that you're having a great day and I will speak to you again soon. Bye. Look at Roisin. She's taking a selfie in front of the Harry Potter sign. We are very sad that we're not going to see this, we really are. But even the sign just looks so impressive.